In this video, we're going to learn how to identify rational numbers that can be found between two given fractions. And the way we're going to do this is by utilizing common denominators and equivalent fractions. So if we have one third and one half, it's not always easy to figure out a fraction that exists in between them. However, if we first find common denominator between the two, it'll make our lives a lot easier. So the common, lowest common denominator between three and two is going to be six. And in order to write an equivalent fraction for one third with the denominator of six, we have to multiply both the numerator and denominator by two. And in order to write one half as an equivalent fraction with six in the denominator, we have to multiply by three. So by doing this, we have two over six and we have three over six. Unfortunately, it's still not obvious what fractions exist in between here. So let's find another equivalent fraction for each that we can use to compare. And at this point, you could just start doubling your denominator, go to 12 by multiplying everything by 2. Uh, but I'll, the shortcut, the best way to go, is just to pick 10 as your multiplying factor. And usually that results in fractions that you can find in between the two of them. So an equivalent fraction of 2 over 6 after multiplying both the numerator and denominator by 10 will be 20 over 60. And for 3 over 6, it turns into 30 over 60. Well, now it's just a matter of figuring out what is in between 20 and 30 and writing that over the same denominator of 60. So our answer could be any one of you know, 21 over 60, 22 over 60, and you get the point, 23 over 60. You, know, you could have multiplied this by 100 or 1,000, and it would just give you more options to pick from.